All right, guys, we have to talk. Is exploding dead or is it not? I'm gonna be talking about how I feel about the current landscape of the community and what might happen. Now, as you guys know, Bifron was released on all versions of Roblox and now nobody is able to use any executors on any version of Roblox other than mobile. And as you guys know, Roblox announced that they would be adding Bifron to all versions of Roblox maybe like a month ago or something like that. And during that announcement, they also said that they're going to be adding a Android anti-cheat. And as you guys know, right now, the only way people are able to use executors is through Android, including cheats like Codex, Fluxus Android, Eve on Android, which is in the last link below. Check it out. That's basically what's going on right now, and every Windows executor is not working. And a lot of exploits are kind of not doing too good. And I know you guys are also curious about what's happening with Yvonne. I will talk about that later on in the video. And as you guys know, Synapse shut down, Scriptor shut down, and Comet has shut down, Nylon has shut down. There's plenty of executors that have been completely shut down at this point, but who knows? which exploits are next to announce that they are shutting down and with the release of the android anti-cheat when that does come that might be the end of roblox exploiting at this price range so i think as i've talked in a previous video if all these good anti-cheats are implemented into roblox this free model of cheats will not work anymore so what you'll have to do is pay monthly for a subscription for some cheat, which could be maybe $20 a month, maybe 30 or even more. So that's a good amount. It's pretty expensive, but that's how expensive normal game cheats for other games typically are. It was just Roblox was the weird game that had super cheap cheats. And that's why the community got so big is because it was very easy to do. But now it's going to be just as hard as other games. It's just as expensive as other games. So now, there's certainly going to be much less exploiters, which I guess is great for Roblox. That's their entire point. But yeah, I don't know what you guys feel about this whole situation and how have you been affected with your games? Like, are you guys not able to progress anymore? Or what's going on here? So everybody's essentially resting on the fact that Android is still working. But once that does stop working, I have no clue what everybody's going to do now. Just like the first time when Biofront first came out, there were just like these loopholes like, like using the Microsoft Store version and all those types of things that are simple bypasses. But at this point, there's no simple bypasses for Windows. And soon enough, there also might not be any simple bypasses for Android. But something to mention for Android is that there's been about like four or three different anti-cheats that Roblox has used for Android in the past like six months. So they are really cycling through these anti-cheats trying to find something that works, but nothing has worked so far. But once again, Bifron wasn't working in the beginning as well, and now it's definitely working pretty well. So who knows what will happen with Android cheating as well. So everything is pretty uncertain. Also, the shutdown of like Verm, for example, and I'm sure a lot of other things will be following suit. I will, of course, also continue to make update videos like this, telling you guys about what's going on. So if you're interested in hearing more and more insider information, make sure to subscribe down below. But as I'm sure you guys wanted to hear, let's talk about Yvonne. So Yvonne Windows right now is just suspended. We're not really doing much for that. We're mainly focused on Android right now, as everybody else is. So EVE on Android has gotten a new DLL that's way more powerful than before. So if you guys haven't tried it, make sure to check it out. Last link below, tutorial video. But something else that's going to probably become way more popular than executors is AI cheats. So things like Nazir or Amy. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Azure, for example. It's a cheat that uses AI and kind of scans your screen, and then it uses that information to detect players and then use features like Aimbot to track, kind of like AI Aim Assist, and also AI Triggerbot, which if it detects a player, it'll just automatically shoot. So it's pretty overpowered and completely undetectable. So that's a really easy way that people are bypassing by far right now is with ai cheats that literally don't mess with roblox at all they just scan the roblox like screen and just take information from that but they don't it doesn't like inject it doesn't execute it doesn't modify roblox's files in any way which is why it can get around bifron and not have any problems with that 
So I feel like that's something that's going to get more popular and get more worked on for, for people to have better support for these AI cheats. And right now that I know, there's only Amy and Nazir. I've actually made two videos on Nazir. You guys can find the latest one in the description first link. It's pretty overpowered and all you have to do to really set it up, you can use all default settings and it'll work great. You just have to play the game that you want to cheat on for like five, 10 minutes for it to learn the player models and things like that. So it's pretty cool and it, there's literally zero chance of you getting banned. So I think that's what's going to become popular in the coming days for people that still want to cheat in Roblox. And the thing is, you don't even have to use web version or the Microsoft Store version in particular to use these types of AI executors. You can literally just use them on anything. And right now, Nazir only has Aimbot and Triggerbot, but I've heard from the developer that they're planning on adding ESP built into this AI cheat. So I feel like this is kind of the future of where Roblox exploiting is going to go if you want to be affordable. Now though, I don't think this is the full road that it's going to take. I think Roblox executors are also going to continue, but they are just going to be quite expensive, quite pricey, and probably detected pretty easily, so you'll always have to use an alt. Which, for me, like, you know, some games that's fine if you just want to have some fun, like Arsenal, you know, just hop on, fly around, kill everybody for a few rounds and hop off. That's fine. But if you guys are playing something like Blocks Fruits and you're farming to get to that level 2550, you can't do that unless you, you want to get to that level on an alt that will possibly get banned. So that's going to completely change everything in my opinion. So who knows how popular Roblox cheating will remain. And if you guys haven't heard about SynapseX partnering with Roblox to prevent exploiting, then the video's right there in the card or in the description. You guys can watch it if you haven't. It's pretty crazy. Literally, Synapse is starting to work with Roblox. Not in a million years would I have guessed that, but it definitely makes sense. You know, Synapse is the best, the best cheat. They know exactly how to cheat, and Roblox wants to know exactly how to stop cheating. So that's a perfect reverse. But honestly, guys, let me know what you think about this whole situation and how it will continue. And give me a guess, this is a challenge. The Android anti-cheat will be coming out at some point soon. So leave below a comment estimating when that will be. And if you get the closest guess and when it comes out, I'll make a video, then you get a cookie. But once again, if you guys did get some useful information out of this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below in order to get a notification when I next release a video like this. If you guys are still trying to exploit in Roblox nowadays, you can still use EVE on Android or Nizer. Both of them still work. Nizer for Windows and web version. And of course, EVE on Android for Android. But thank you for sticking along till the end. Watch that video right there. Bye bye.